Come on, let's touch this feet. There's fire that comes through. It's hot and heat goes through your body. Just close your eyes. Jesus is here to heal you. You
Why am I not hearing and I'm so close to her? Okay, right now, what is the problem? Um, because you say I need some. I know, I know. Here. My problem is joint, and then my stomach comes big, big like that for mm -hmm. five years. Five years. Yeah, and then stomach ache, and you know, just messy like that. Doctor, do lot, a lot, a lot of tests. They, they never find anything. So your belly is rising up, and then you have joint pains. Yeah. You can't kneel down right now. Yeah. Try, then, try to kneel. Let me see. It hurts. It's painful. And you're not pregnant, but your belly is just big like that. Yeah, and then last week, the day I think you are here, you see me. I go to for, I come very, very sick, and then I go to for emergency. They say my heart is very big. Your heart is big? Big, yes. So they just want to kill you. Come on, come and put your hand on my feet. Stomach is big, leg bending, now heart is big. Put your diabetes, high blood pressure, all of it, all of that in one person. My God. And how old are you? You don't know your age. Are you serious? Because you lost your mom when you were young. Why are you guys laughing? She's serious. She's crying now. You're laughing. She's crying. She don't even know her mother's face. Well, how old are you when your mother died? Maybe five because when my mother died after that my teeth start come out and then I said maybe I am five five years old. Okay, so you don't know. It's okay. Do you believe that you'll be healed? Yes. All right. You watch the video on Facebook? Yeah, I tried going to America. So I want to see Mama in America. You wanted to come see me in America, yes, but, but I came here. Yes. Hallelujah. As long as they believe. The way she's holding this leg is like this leg will run away. This, so that other people can hold it. Don't cry anymore, just relax. Take a deep breath. Holy Ghost fire all over your body. That's a demon that is causing all this in your body. I want to kick it out. Fire from your head to your toe. Out of her! In the name of Jesus! Look at her, look at her. Look at the belly shaking. It's a spirit, it's a spirit. It will go, it will go, it will go. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, show me face. Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh my God. Look at that ugly demon. My God. Hey, look at that. That belly must shrink today. Don't let her go under that place. Did you see the face just change to a monster? It's a spirit. Causing big belly, causing big pain, causing big heart. Now remove everything. Remove everything you put in that. Bring that thing. Bring that up to me. Bring that up. Oshans, it's time for you to carry it out for me. I need to be seen a face. Because the robot shaking. It's a spirit that is causing all this in this woman. God said that she can't call people that have strange in them. Can you guys keep quiet? I'm hearing too much noise. What about Oshans? Open your eyes. Look at the hand, look at the hand. Holy Ghost fire. Fire. Now you demon, remove the sickness you put in her. Release her hand, release her hand. Remove that thing you put in her belly. Remove it. Remove it! Remove the sickness from her belly. Remove the sickness from her knee. Remove the sickness from her heart. Hammer on your head. Angels, get a hammer and hit the head of this demon. Take all your property. By the time I kick you out of her, I want her to be able to kneel down. I want her belly to shrink. I want her heart to go back to normal. Blood pressure, diabetes, all of that sickness, I want it gone. You want to kill this woman? Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Look at that. It's a spirit. Aha. What are your things and all you demon? Aha. Look at, look at, look at that. Yes. All over you. Fire, 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 
Holy Ghost fire. You cannot stay in this one anymore. You are not gone yet. Pick up. You cannot deceive me. Get up. Until I say go, you are not living. Now everything you've given out to eat or drink, cough it out, vomit it out, yawn it out, out of my system, out, 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 all of it, come out, come out, come out, come out of my belly. Everything you have given out to eat, whatever you put in that, bring it out, out, open your eyes, open your eyes, open your eyes, Lord of Jesus, out. She said she wanted to come with me in America, but I came here. More fire! Leave my love. Now on the count of three, angel. I have an angel that works with me. Actually, a lot of them. But this one, Gabriel, get that sword. On the count of three, you chop up the head of this demon. And this woman will be free and healed totally. One, just stand in her back. Two, but don't touch her. Three, out of her! Out! Chop it up! Be free! In the name of Jesus. Go for Jesus, somebody. Get up, sweetie. You are healed, you are free. What happened to you? How do you feel? You feel very soft. Look at your knee. Wow. You feel light. Like something came out of you. You say something hot. Did you know what you were doing? Was that you? You were the one that almost fighting me. That was you now. You don't know. Sorry. He doesn't remember anything. You almost went under this place. Oh. Did you know? You did not? Ah. Uh -uh. I remember I want to go to America. The last thing you remember is you want to come to America. You don't remember doing that thing. Are you guys here? They want her. You are free. No, your heart is back to normal. Your belly will shrink. By like tomorrow when you come, it will go down more. Your knee, you will be able to kneel down. No more pain in your body. It was a spirit and it's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody. Come on, sweetie. What did the lady from yesterday that I didn't pray for? Come on. What happened? And today you are well dressed. Hallelujah. You are relaxed today. I know some, something came out yesterday. Speak loud, sweetie. You guys speak loud, please, so we can hear you. I'm back again because um, when I came yesterday, I was very, was well, so it yesterday? I don't, I don't, I don't really remember, but then I it was yesterday, I was very sick. So when I came here, I just felt really crazy and I, I felt relieved and everything, you know. But today I'm back because I didn't have the chance to actually explain anything. Yeah, but I've got a condition that I was diagnosed in 2016. It's called um, hyperthyroidism. So it's a thyroid gland. It's a gland here, and it gets swollen. And when it gets swollen, it makes it gives me heartburn, and it makes my heart pound very fast, and my heart burns, and it gives me headache. And so you want it to be gone? It makes me miserable. Yeah. And I've been taking the tablet daily since 2016, but sometimes it, it comes back and my heart burns and it just okay. Let me pray for you. Very fast, yeah. So you want that thing gone? Yes, I don't want to take tablets anymore. Yeah, come on, put your hand on my feet. We don't have much time, so I don't want you guys talking too much. Close your eyes. And today she wore suit. Yesterday, did you see what she was wearing? You don't have to massage my feet. Just leave your hand. Are you enjoying the feet? She's just massaging me. It's feeling good. Though. Before I forget to pray for you. Alright, sorry. 
Just close your eyes and focus. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. You spirit of Tyrod or whatever you call yourself, it's time for you to go. Open your eyes for me. Don't say anything, eh? Open it. Fire. Close your eyes. Don't say anything. Don't even say amen. More fire. Out of her. In the name of Jesus. Out. Fire. Fire in that throat. Fire all over your body. Pack all your things and leave this one. Fire. In your fix her throat. She will never take that medicine again in the name of Jesus. And every other demon hiding in you. Fire. It's time for you to come out. Come out, come out, come out. Ray Pataya Bashata. Roto Borondi Kabo Sibaran Yako Sandia. That's right. Then just fix her heart. No more heart bone to you. And that witch that did that thing to you. Holy Ghost fire on her wherever she is. Back to send that invitation to you. In the name of Jesus. Now on the count of three, chop off the head of this demon. One, two, three. Out of her! In the name of Jesus, she's free. You are healed. No more tyrant problems. Make sure you testify. I think your mother is always watching me. So you tell your mother. She was crying now. Did you know you were crying? It was just happening. You are free. Go ahead. Come on, next person. Quick, quick, quick. Go straight to the point. Speak loud so I can hear you. Hello, my name is Martha. Uh -huh. Keep on the way today. I've been, uh, I've been struggling with uh, illness for almost uh, two years. 22 years? Yeah, two what years. What sickness is it? I've been having fibroids. I went to see. So the you have fibroid? Yeah, fibroid. When I go Is that to, all? Yeah. Is that all you have? Uh, they say that the fibroid is, uh, is a bit big, you know, to very, very big, but they say that uh, I have to remove my womb. And then I said that, no, I don't want to remove my womb. So for 22 years, you've not had a case. Do you have children? I've got two children. They are now, well, the youngest one is now uh, almost 19. Since okay. was it 10 years old. Okay. Fibroid is a common thing. It's not a, yeah. it's not a strange illness. Yes. I see fibroid all the time. Yes, fibroids and also I have a high blood pressure. Okay, um, yes. it's okay, it's okay. Yes. Those two things are not common. They are not. Yes. Take the mic from her. I need something that is a strange sickness. And do you watch my video? No. I, I, People that watch my video, fibroid is a daily thing. You guys are lining up and you don't know, you're wasting my time looking for some strange illness. Fibroid is something that happens. Because the doctor said that they haven't found what is the problem exactly with my heart. Because the way my heart beats is different with the. Uh, okay, so the fibroid is connected to your heart. I don't know whether it's the, the fibroids or the heart is different. The problem yesterday, yesterday was. Come on, the, come on. Once I heard fibroid, it's not a strange illness. Come on, put your hand there. I just don't want you guys to fill up my line and you don't have anything. So some people don't listen. Please take that boy to the back. Holy Ghost fire all over your body. Don't say anything to me. Don't say anything. Just close your eyes, okay? Don't even say amen. She doesn't watch me, so she doesn't know how I operate. It's better when they watch. It's easier for me. So you know how I function. Just close your eyes now. Is something happening to you? Holy Ghost fire. Out of her! In the name of Jesus. Are you talking? You're saying something. You're saying amen. I keep saying don't say anything, but this woman is... Go to your seat. Give her uh, this thing. Move your hand. You are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, next. When I tell you follow instruction, you follow instruction. I said, don't say anything. She's talking while I'm praying. I don't understand what she's doing. What exactly is wrong with you, sweetie? Speak loud. Let me hear. All right. Um, <clears throat> it started in 2009. 
Speed comes out of your mouth when you're talking. Yeah, uncontrollably, so I can't control it. Like, even when I'm in school. A lot of speed. Yeah, even when I'm in school presenting, like, it's so embarrassing. It's embarrassing you. I went to the hospital, they can't find any problem, and that was where all the problems started from. So, I started going to church, and that was how I started experiencing strange things happening to me. Sometimes. Can you guys hear in the back? Sorry. You can't hear it. Okay. When, when I noticed those things were happening, I stopped clubbing and all these things, so I decided to go to church. But I noticed that one day I was sitting, sitting at home, something came in the house and hold me down and started slapping me. Hey! I was like, you this girl, you are very stubborn. So you were in the house, a spirit came. On my couch. That was my first time to experience something. And it was slapping you anyhow? Yeah. And my auntie called me from... In real life or in dream? I was lying down. I could feel the thing holding me down, slapping me, but I couldn't see. It. Hey! Yeah. So um, my auntie called me the next day and she said, Oh, I went to church and the pastor said, In the spiritual realm, they are torturing you. You have to take God very serious. This was how many years ago? It started in 2009. When all and nobody has delivered you from it. No. Does that thing slap you again? It still happened because. Quite recently, I was in the house. I heard someone after 12 o'clock midnight. I heard something shaking the door, and I, I was in the house. With Where are you from? From Liberia. Okay, come on. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Not too much talk because we don't have much time. And even recently, I was lying down. I saw, I felt something lying behind me. When I turned around, it was actually the devil himself. And as soon as I said, Jesus Christ is Lord, it disappeared. The whole room temperature changed. I don't know. You saw the devil on your bed? Yes, behind me. Like, How did he look? Oh my God, I couldn't sleep that night. I, I told my housemate, I don't know what's happening. Like so many things happening. The other time, he came in the room and started struggling me. I couldn't even scream. Okay, that's good enough. Were you here yesterday? Yes. How are you feeling right now? I'm very nervous. You're nervous? Yeah, yeah put your hand on my head. <laughs> Can I put your papers here? On the floor. You don't feel like touching my feet. Something telling you don't touch it. It was something was telling you to leave around like they, they, they told that guy yesterday. Put your hand on my feet. Let's deal with that devil. Touch it now. Touch the feet now. Hold it tight. It says while she was standing there, a voice was telling her to leave. home, they were like, why didn't you go up? And I said, no. I he said, yesterday she came here, with, her friends were like, when they were leaving home, they said, why didn't you come up for her to pray for you? She said, no, it's okay. So today you forced yourself to come up. Yeah? Just stay still. You won't be free today, right? And that devil will go back to hell where it belongs. <laughs> right, don't say anything. Else. Just open your eyes. That's the blood of Jesus. Fire. Open it again. Fire. Fire from your head to your toe. You demon. It's time for you to go. Move the mind from my mouth. Out of her. The name of Jesus. Fire from your head to your toe. You devil that is always slapping and now begin to slap yourself. Slap yourself. You that is tormenting her. It's time for you to go. More fire. More fire. Causing speed to come out of her mouth. All of you, it's time for you to leave her. You didn't want her to come here. She's here now. Angels. Begin to torment these demons. Torment them. Fire. Fire, 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 more fire. Out of her, in the name of Jesus, from today, you will speak and speak will not come out of your mouth. No more demons in your house. I said fire in your house, your car, everything that belongs to you, fire. 
Now take everything you put in your hand. Remove, 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 remove. Remove, 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 remove. Take your things. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. There's fire. Remove all your property. And whoever that person is that sent you all these things, I'm sending it back to her. Back to send her. Out of her. In the name of Jesus. On the count of three, that's if she doesn't break my leg. Angel, get that sword ready. You will chop off the head of this demon. One, two, three. Out! In Jesus' name. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Leave her alone. You are free. Clap for Jesus about it. What happened? You are what are you feeling? You are free. Amen. Go and sit down. You will never see those demons again. From now on you will speak and speech will not be jumping out of your mouth. Now come on, sweetie, quick, 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 tell us. What is that strange illness? I've been bleeding now for seven months. You have been bleeding? Yeah. Like your period? Yeah. Seven months? Yeah. Non stop? Yeah, and the doctor, they try all kind of medication. They can't it's not it. working. Then they do um, some ultrasound to know the reason they can't find anything. Has this happened before? No. So normally you, you were supposed to bleed for like a few days, but your yeah. own has been steady. Like the woman in the seven Bible. Months. Seven months. Yeah. Is it heavy bleeding? Seven months of heavy bleeding. Yeah, and I have to wear um hat every day. For seven months. For seven months. Are you guys hearing? How many yeah. person going through that? Bleeding for more than a normal time. I pray for ladies that have bled for one lady bleed for thirteen years or so. Or by live video, one white lady that I prayed for. You remember her? After the prayer, a few months later she got married. I posted that picture. Did you guys see a wedding picture? I think it was 13 years, right? So we see the cases that Jesus dealt with in the Bible. We see it coming up again, right? Give her the mic. This one went straight to our point. I like that. Put your hand in. I will pray for you and immediately it will stop. It's a spirit. This is a song I'm hearing. Something happened. And now I know he touched me and made me whole. God is about to make a whole. Amen. Something is already happening. Uh -huh. Look at that. That's a snake. Fire. Fire. You demon. Causing this bleeding. This man. Look at that. Look at that. Who are you? Are you hearing me? Why did you do this to this woman now? You demon. Why did you cause her to bleed? Don't tie it too tight now. She's bleeding. You want more blood to come out. Fire all over your body. You demon. Who are you? Speak. Who are you? And what have you done to this woman? You are who, Anish? Oh, many. We are many. Are you here? How many of you are in her? You say we are many. What and what have you done to her? Are you the one causing the bleeding? Huh? Is that you? So this is one spiritual husband. Hey, don't squeeze my leg, you demon. Release your hand on my leg. Why? Yeah, move your hand. She's your wife. Yeah. When did you marry her? Listen. Huh? Since she was a baby. Since she was a baby. So you've been in this woman since she was a baby. Yeah. So what have you done to her? 
on her face. Face one, two. Now tell me one of your secrets. Tell me one of your secrets. Don't block my camera, please. Ushers, I only need one. Tell me one of your secrets. Huh? Did you do anything to our children or our husband? Remove everything you put on all of them. Quick. Remove, remove, remove. Did you put anything on our bed? Remove. In our house, remove. Now, when I kick you out of her, what will happen to her? She will be free. She will be, be what? She will be great when I kick you out. How about the bleeding? Will it stop? Yes. So you are the one that caused it. How long did you want her to bleed for? As long as I want. Oh, he said he wanted her to bleed as long as he wanted. This is real life people. Seven months of bleeding. That's the demon responsible. Come this way. I want to see your face. Bring this demon close. Okay, tell your other friends to go. Your fellow demons, tell them to go to hell. Quick, quick. You see, you are many. Quick! Tell them to go. Step on, go! Leave my alone! Say, go to hell. Step on, go to hell! Step mom. Did you say step mom? Step on, go. Who is step mom again? Step mom, go. What is step mom doing there? Step mom, who is step mom? What is step mom do to her? So many things. Tell me what I want. Does anyone know this woman? Who is her stepmom? What does stepmom do? Eh? Who is the stepmom? Tell me what I want the stepmom did. Quick! Alright. Who else is there besides the stepmom? And you? This demon is not talking. Bring it close to me. Let me put more fire on it. Open your eyes. 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 Open your eyes
the eyes. Open it. Holy Ghost fire all over your body. Have you removed the bleeding? Have you taken it off? Yes. So it's no longer there. So once I pray for her, she will go check herself in the bathroom. And she there's no more bleeding, right? Alright. Set your head. Oh shots. Something came out of my mouth. What is the thing that came out of my mouth? What are you what, what are you bringing out? Eh? What did you, what did she just bring out of her mouth, you demon? So more is coming now. I need paper towel. All the evil deposit. My camera lady, I hope you are seeing the cast. Are you blocking her? All right. Set your head ready. Let me angel chop off this head. Move. Move back. On the count of three, Gabriel, get that sword. You chop off the head. And she'll be free. All the demons left will go. One, two, three, out! In the name of Jesus, chop it off. Back to hell where you belong. In Jesus' name, be free. In the name of Jesus. Clap for Jesus, everybody. Get up, sweetie. Somebody get up. Let's see. I like this part. Ah, you're using my cloth to clean your face, huh? It's my cloth I suffer, though. <laughs> Tell us what happened. You are praying for me. I was praying for you? Yeah. And what are you doing on the floor now? Oh, no. <laughs> what is the last thing you remember? I took your feet. And you don't plant that. But you say that she's my wife. You say, stepmom, leave her alone. Who is your stepmom? I have two step moms, so I don't know. The demon says step mom go. Why is she taking pictures? Who are you taking pictures for? No, we have enough pictures. Do you know her? No, no. Do you know this lady? No. Go and see them. The video is on Facebook. You can tell your mom to watch it. God bless you, sweetie. So you don't know what happened? No. Go to the bathroom, check yourself. The bleeding has stopped. And come back and tell us. Make sure you come back and tell us. Go check. Quick, quick, quick. All right, give this lady the mic. What's wrong with you, sweetie? Uh, my son, who is six years old, was diagnosed with autism at home. And when he was two and a half years old, he started walking on his toes. But he was born normally, walking normally. And I've taken him to the doctors, to the physiotherapists, to the orthopedic doctors. They've done everything to correct his uh, toe walking. Then they said it's idiopathic, meaning that it, it, there is no cause for it. And his uh, calves have tightened. So the doctors have said uh, before he turns 21, he has to undergo three operations to try. Okay, so this prayer is for your son, not for you. Yeah, yeah, Where's your son? He's sitting just there because he's so, well, he's wandering around. So I just. Make, make him sit there. Mm. But I prayed for that boy yesterday. Yes, and then the other thing. I but I prayed for that boy yesterday. So why are you bringing that same boy problem? No, no I, I didn't talk about his feet. And uh, it doesn't problem. matter. I prayed for that boy yesterday. Okay. But you don't have faith, really. I have faith, and uh, one other problem is I have been uh, uh, bleeding from my nose since I was born. And I've uh, not had a cure for it, and my two boys are now also bleeding. Like it's on a day. Where are you from? I am from Alice Springs, but I was born in Zimbabwe. Come on. So you're bleeding your nose daily, every day. Okay. You need to work on your feet, because you've also taken them everywhere for prayers too. Remember. Yes, it's not just the first place. You go everywhere for prayer. She said, yes, that's very true. I've gone everywhere. Everywhere. Are you, are you hearing? She has no faith. No. Nah, how did I know you've gone everywhere? You didn't tell me that. I'm hearing it. That's why I'm saying it. Leave the mic. Sometimes when we pray for you, 
and another place comes and you take the person there. What if that person is a false prophet? That person will snatch the healing. Right? She said, everywhere. I've gone everywhere. Out of everywhere you've gone to, some of them might not be real. They might, they might have added some more. Who are? Do it. Be careful where you go to. Come on. Close your eyes. Are you going to fire all over your body? Out of her! In the name of Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. Clap for Jesus. Next person. What is wrong with you? Hallelujah. Amen. I have a problem. My name, two names, they broke. They broke? Yeah. It's no work. At this point, five years now, no work. You I work with like this. You have a problem with your knee. Yeah. Two years, but for five years you haven't worked. Yeah, no work, yeah. No work now. I'm waiting for operation now. Wait. Your knee problems are two years ago. Yeah, five years. Okay. Because when you say two years, yeah. and then you say five years, I'm like, okay. Yeah. So how do you work now? Show us how you work. Yeah, no work properly. Walk, let me see how you walk. Is that one knee or the two knees? Both of them. Okay. Two. So you want to go do surgery now? Yeah, I'm waiting for self pain. For what? I'm waiting for operation. Operation? When is your operation? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I keep waiting this. Okay. Yeah, I have a problem. I have two questions. I have a problem. Uh, no baby, more baby. I, I got my son, one son. They pray for me. I got more baby. Yeah, yeah, two pictures. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. what happened? Yeah, she said she had problem one baby. Yeah, one baby. Yeah, and then they pray for you two baby girl. Yeah, two baby girl. So this is testimony. Yeah, no, no, two baby. Eh? Uh, Another baby. No. Okay, so you want one more baby? Yeah, I have one more baby, my son. And you want me to pray for you? Yes. So you can get another baby? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Hey, yeah. come on for this woman. Hallelujah. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie, I did not understand. Come on. So you want Jesus to heal your knee so you won't do surgery. Yes. And he'll bless your womb so you can have another baby. Yes. Oh yeah, touch my don't use your sharp nail though. Uh -huh. Close your eyes. Why are you guys laughing now? Leave the woman. English is not her first language. Calm down, everybody. Holy Ghost fire all over your body. Fire from your head to your toe. Fire. 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 Don't say anything. When I say don't speak, don't speak. What happened? Who is that person? What's happening? What happened, guys? Okay, so what's your problem now? That's not your place. Leave them alone. They didn't laugh at her. We all laughed. If you came here to set confusion, go home. Out of her! In the name of Jesus! And your fix her needs. Let her begin to walk well. She will not do that surgery. Fire on your knees now. In the name of Jesus. Bless her womb. So she can have more kids. In the name of Jesus. Fire, 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 fire. Out in Jesus' name. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are healed. No more need pain in Jesus' name. Amen.
Come on, clap for Jesus, somebody. And you'll be able to have another child or other children. She got up by herself. What happened to you? No, it's okay now. Do you know what happened? I didn't, what happened to you? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's okay. Yes. It's okay. Please, it's okay. No, it's okay. This is my uncle. Okay, yeah. How is your leg? Is it better? Hey! She was jumping up, Nana. Right, come on, next person. God oh, bless you. That's the lady that cooked for us, right? Do you know this lady has food for you guys? You brought food, right? Is it enough for everybody or just small? How many plates? Close to what? Ah, this is what I'm on a hundred. Oh, okay. Some people have already eaten. She cooked food. She, in Sydney, she's the one that cooked food for people. So when we are almost done, I will try to finish a little early so you guys can grab some food and eat or take with you. Go ahead, sweetie. What's wrong? Headache for years. Ushers, make them come. So right now you have headache. Yeah. And you take medication every day for it. I might normally take aspirin for it. Aspirin. Yeah. And I didn't on my head there's a growth. Yeah. It just came out on its own. It just came out on its own. How long have you had a growth on your head? Um, to be very honest, I don't remember. Know, I don't know when it came, but I wasn't born like this. But it's been a while. It's been a while. So when I went to see the doctor, they said it's not. Um, it's something that can be removed and I don't intend doing it. So Surgery. So you want the growth to melt away? Yes. And you want that constant headache to go? You're tired of taking aspirin every day? Yes. Come on, sweetie. Put your arm. She came all the way from Sydney to this program. She was in Sydney. She came to Melbourne. Only goes fire all over your body. Fire from your head to your toe. You demon that is causing this headache. It's time for you to go. And that causes growth on her forehead. Out of her! Out! In the name of Jesus! Fire. More fire. Just cover her name now. Fire. More. Rapali no shatayana neho. Take your headache and leave. Take that growth and leave. From today, she will no longer have this constant headache. Out! On the count of three, chop up the head of these demons. One, two, three. Out in the name of Jesus. Be free in Jesus' name. Right now, that headache will stop. Permanently. What happened to you? My food lady, please help out. What pushed you down like that? She said, you don't know. You just fell and you did not know. How do you feel? Something came out of you. You feel better now. You are free. And come. You will also lose weight supernaturally. In the name of Jesus. She has seven children now. Beautiful children. This woman that you are seeing like this. Five fine girls and boy, right? God bless you. Come on, next person. Tell us. Uh, I have a problem for four years. For four years. I have a pain in my back. Pain in your back for four years. You cannot bend down. Try to bend down. Let us see you. You can't bend well. What more can you not do? Speak loud. I just like I Come closer to me. I can't hear you. This mic doesn't work. Yeah. 
She's, it's right in her mouth though, no, she can't. We are not hearing her. You can't do anything because your body is failing you. Yeah. I have to repeat what they are saying because we can't hear them. Yeah. And then, your body is paining plus your back. Yeah. So right now your whole body is paining you. Yeah. Plus the back pain. Mm -hmm. Every day your body hurts. Yes. Okay. And then yeah, the quad problem, I'm confused because when I went to hospital and then they say I have a kidney problem. You have kidney? Yes. Okay. And then they give me a waiting list for Waiting list for kidney transplant. For kidney transplant. How long have you been on that list? Four years. Uh, for four years? Four years now, yeah. They still haven't given you the kidney. Yes. And then... She's been waiting for four years for a yeah. kidney. And then they told me and uh, the kidney, they're going down, they very fail. All of them is less. And then... Maybe so you need new kidneys. You need God yes. to give you new kidneys. Yeah. You believe? Do you watch the videos? Yes. Okay, come on. So right now you are feeling pain all over your body and your back. So if I pray for you, you will know if you are healed. How do you feel right now? You feeling nervous? Why is your hand so cold like this? Come on, it's okay, sweetie. Push it down a little bit. Pull it down a little bit. No, no, you are touching my thigh. Okay, good. Just relax. Take a deep breath. Just imagine that Jesus is right here and all your problems are going to be taken care of. Four years of suffering is about to be over right now. That's right. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Fire on your back. Don't say anything. Fire on your leg, your hand, your body, everywhere. You demon that is shutting down our kidneys and it's causing pain in our body. It's time for you to go. In the name of Jesus. Come out of this woman. Pack all your sickness and go. Out. Live a little. Out. Take that pain from the back. Take it from the body. Angels, replace her kidneys. Give her two new ones. I don't want her to have any surgery. More fire. Bring her closer to me. Rapale bo shika la badi handia ha. Fire, 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 fire. Out! In the name of Jesus. Angel, get that sword. You chop up the head of these demons. One, two, three. Out! Leave it alone. Leave it. Out! Chop it off. In the name of Jesus. Leave it. Be free. In Jesus' name. No more pain in your back. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. No more body pain. It's the spirit that is doing that. And you have two brand new kids. You don't have to be on that waiting list anymore. You are free. In the name of Jesus. You know she doesn't know what's happening to her. Come on, sweetie, you are free. Come on. Come here. This is a drunken master demon. <laughs> Come on, sweetie. In case you don't know, in my videos we laugh a lot. So when people are laughing, they are not laughing at the people. Come on. Come on. Bring her close. Hey. How do you feel? How are you feeling? Huh? Hey, this is serious. Lila, you are free. What happened to you? What was happening? Uh -uh. This is backward, backward name. So come forward, I forward ever backward name. <laughs> I have seen so many things. <laughs> Even her said she's laughing. <laughs> You can't help it, right? It keeps going back. <laughs> che, how is your back? <laughs> this male boy there, we're having so much fun here. The woman is laughing. You can't help it. It keeps keep taking you back, right? 
She will go to her seat with her back. You better let her go and sit. Locate your seat with your back. Oh, yeah. Go. They love me. This is serious. You are free. Go to the doctor, let them check your kidneys. You will see you have brand new ones. Even though your back pain is gone. Your whole body pain is gone. Hallelujah. How do your body feel? Oh. This is crying. How do you feel? Shy. She has suffered. You are bending down now. I thought you couldn't bend before. Hey! You are here. Go and rest. Go to the doctor, check yourself, and make sure you send the testimony. Two brand new kidneys. Remove your name from now with kidneys. You don't have to be there anymore. Come on, sweetie. Go ahead. What's wrong with you? Well, I'll follow you all the way from Sydney. She said she followed me all the way from Sydney. You were in the program? Yes. Wow, you came again. You're not tired. She said, I want to be delivered. So I followed you. Yeah. All right, so you put your mouth close to the back. Since I was young. Since I was young, go ahead. I had like a hunchback, but it was here. You had a hunchback? But mine was at the front here. And I have so the hunchback like this? Yeah. But your one is in the front? Yeah. So how does it look? How does it make you walk? My grandmother, she made it go away, but I um, there's a mind there because it was hot. How do you mean that she made it go away? Go away? Is she a pastor? According to my mother, she's in this society bush. She been haunting me for many years. Every time Where are you from? Today, I'm from Liberia. Every time I go to there, she take the form of my mother. Do you see her all the time in your dreams? She's coming even real life. I can feel that. When was the last time you saw her? I, because I start getting close to God, last year was worse. Everywhere I go, I would just start feeling funny, even when I go to church. When was the last time you saw her? Answer my question when I ask. I saw her like three weeks ago. In your dream? Yes. So the arch back is under your breast? Yes. So it hurts there? It hurts, but it's in my stomach. Uh-huh. So every time I go to sleep, people are always feeling when I wake up, I will burp and I will feel really full in my stomach. So you're always eating in your dream? It will start hurting me. But when I go to the hospital, it's I have bug in my stomach. You have boil? Bugs. But I don't think Bugs. Bugs in my stomach. Bug. Bugs. Bugs. Yeah, but I don't think it is going to keep hurting me. Okay, so you just want to be free. And how, you, you flew or you drove to this place? You just came today. Yeah, today. Alright, come on. So you all need deliverance. And you believe you'll get it today. Something told you to come. Even after coming to Sydney. But you didn't come out for anything, right? You were just chilling, enjoying the program. But this time you're like, ah, this woman is going to go back soon. I might as well get my deliverance. Alright, put your hand on my feet. I'm sure something was trying to discourage you from coming. Put it now, touch it. You, you, you flew and came, now you're here, you're afraid. Relax, put it on my hand. Uh -huh. Take a deep breath. Hold it well, let the fire enter your body well. Take a deep breath. And this is your grandma, is she still alive? I don't know nothing about her to do. You didn't ask? I asked my mother, she said yes, yeah, she's alive. She's alive, okay. Okay, so if she's really a witch, do you believe that this deliverance can kill her? I think so because she wanted to throw us inside with She wanted to initiate you into witchcraft. Yes. But you, but you couldn't get initiated. Alright, that's fine. My own thing is when I pray for people that witches are oppressive, they normally die. I'm asking you, do you want that to die? Yes, I want to know if If she's a witch or because she may be innocent, you know. Yeah, but if somebody else is behind her. Okay, close your eyes. Holy Ghost fire all over your body. Fire from your head to your toe. Open the eyes. Open it. Open it. See, don't it manifest already. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. La Vivi. La Vivi. 
Hey, she came all the way from Sydney. Fire. Who is this one? Lavivi. Who is Lavivi? She's, my She's your what? Speak loud. My granddaughter. She's your granddaughter. Yeah. And what is your name? Weedon. Your name is what? Weedon. Oh, shall go. If they're late, now just go. I just need the person with the mic. She's. Your name is what? Weedon. Weedon. Wisdom. Rita. 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 Is that her name? <laughs> look at it, look at it, look at the manifestation. This is serious, guys. <laughs> what, what have you done to this woman? Yes, it's me, Weedon. You what? Weedon. Look at the voice. You what? Weedon. I can't even hear. I live in the city side of the bush. I'm here to take your life. You, you live in the bush? Yes. And what do you do in the bush? <laughs> I want her to follow me. You want her to follow? She has my name. She has your name? She has a great calling upon her life. A great calling from God. <laughs> so she said that her grandmother belongs to like a group of some. Never ever. Are you guys hearing the voice has changed? So now when I set her free, when I cast you out, what will happen to her? What will happen to her when I cast you out? I don't know. So, but if you can go ahead, because she has gone to many churches. She has been to so many churches. And they can't help her. And they cannot help her. I have this grace on one at this party. Everyone was afraid of her. Now all of you should be afraid of her. So all the pastors are afraid of her. Are you serious? So that means you are more powerful than those pastors. Yes, I am. Are you more powerful than Jesus? I don't know who that is. Are you more powerful than Jesus? I don't know who that is. Okay, so answer that question. Yes or no? <laughs> because you are not powerful at all. I'm window. You are window. Yes. Okay, angel, fire on this demon. Fire in the camp of the enemy. That bush fire there, destroy all of them. All of those witches, all of those old women, all of those old men in that bush. I need you to begin to burn them now. Fire! Fire! I thought you said you were powerful. What is happening to you? <laughs> hey! Fire! Fire! <laughs> you have not met. Eh? You never know. Power past power. Fire there! Destroy them! All of them! Let them all begin to confess and die! In the name of Jesus! Fire! 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 <laughs> now remove everything you put in this woman. Quick! Remove! You say you disgrace her. Come on, start to remove it. Remove the crown. Remove the ring. Remove, 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 remove. I don't have time. That's fire. Fire. I am disgracing you. <laughs> remove, remove. Remove your property. Take everything you put in the house. Look at that. You put something about it. Remove what you put in the house too. Take all your property. Fire on you wherever you are. You need grandmother. You will confess and die. I give you one. Confess and die. In the name of Jesus. Fire, fire, fire. Move, move, move from my fire. Fire, fire, fire. Remove, remove, remove. In a private area, you put something. Remove it. Quick, quick. Remove that thing you put in a private area. Come around. Don't show it. Remove. I hear that there's something there. You just put so much in this woman. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. More fire. And just slap this demon on the face. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get the big hammer. Hit this demon on the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, tell all your brothers and sisters, those demons, to begin to leave. They have to leave. They have to leave. They have to go to hell and they belong. Quick, 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 quick. You say you have disgraced pastors. Maybe she went to false prophets. Ah, ah, ah. Today I will disgrace you and the whole world is watching you. 
you evil grandmother. <laughs> One day you will confess and die. In the name of Jesus. Remove everything. Tell your brothers, your evil spirits, to go to hell. This woman came all the way from Sydney. She will be free. Angel, get that sword ready. On the count of three, you will chop on the head of this demon. Get up. Carry this demon up. So many ushers will carry this one up. Say you want to disgrace what? You are powerless. You demon. Say that to me. On the count of three, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Blood of Jesus, more fire. Angel, get that sword ready. You will chop out the head of this demon. One, leave it up. Two, three, chop it off. Out of her. Back to hell where you belong. Out. In the name of Jesus. Be free. In Jesus' name. Trust in Jesus' name. You are shaking your head. How do you know? You know you are free. Yes. How do you know you are free? He said you've gone to so many churches and they tried. So how do you know this one is different? Because you feel the lightness. You feel the lightness. Yes. Wow. So all the other churches you went to, you didn't feel like. What happened? They couldn't pray for you. He said it disgraced pastors. Is it true? Were you fighting them? Was it an aggressive deliverance? You were scattering everywhere. Do you know what happened to you here? You removed things from your body, even in your private part. Who is Lavivi? That's your name. That's your name, Lavivi. <laughs> oh, so that's your name. Yes. It said there's your grandmother. So they belong to some people in a bush and have destroyed all of them. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand on my feet again. Close your eyes. Don't say anything. I just want to run through this body one more time. She said she had to come from Sydney. No fire. No fire. Run through this body one more time if there's anything left. Ah! In the name of Jesus. Somebody clap for Jesus, she's free. What do you have to say to Jesus? I want to say thank you, Lord, for delivering me, and I'm going to work in your kingdom and sing for you forever. She said, I'm going to work in your kingdom and sing for you forever. I sing today, let us hear how you sing. You just promised him, so today you must sing. Please sing loud, yeah, because we can't hear you. Put the mic very close to your mouth. Keep on this, you're going to help her, right? Fix the, fix the mic and the crowd so that. We can't hear you too low. Take my mic, please. You have to put it close to your mouth. Start again. As I come to Come on, line up. 
Because the line keeps getting long, so more people add into the line. That's what you guys do. Or we call you, won't come out and face so. When you see one or two manifestations, maybe let me just go and just ask them. Like, stand there, we'll pray for you. Together, open your hand. Whatever that strange sickness is, it will be mass healing right now. Close your eyes, open your hand. Don't say anything. Only goes fire all over your body, from your head to your toe. Hold the kids. Ushers, you are all lining up here, but people, kids are crying. Starting from the right, from the boy there, down, fire, 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 fire. You demon of strange sickness, strange illness. Fire on you now. Fire, fire, fire. Out of it, in the name of Jesus. Out. Out. In Jesus' name. Angel, get that sword ready. On the count of three, you chop off the heads of these demons. Whatever the sickness is, only God knows. You'll be healed instantly. One, two, three. Out. In Jesus' name. Somebody's coughing. Give her something. When I say, ah, she's coughing like something's coming up. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are healed in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Clap for Jesus, somebody. Let's go. I believe. And it is done. Thank you. Tomorrow we have another 12 hours. And we're also going to take pictures like we did yesterday. The cameraman is here ready. When I share the grace, stop making noise, listen to me. There's food in that place. You can grab and go, you can eat. We have to live in here, but I'm setting time for us to eat. Tomorrow, it starts at 11. I only have like 60 dresses. The ones who come early will receive. But if you come late, it may not be enough for you. 
For all those who want to be in the choir tomorrow, how many of you wanted to sing with me tomorrow in the choir? They were like 10? Come here early, 10.30. So we can practice. I have robes for the choir. You will still get a long dress, don't worry. But you will wear the robe. You know the robe that you wear, they wear in my choir? Please don't forget the song after we practice. So we can, today I didn't want to strain my voice. But tomorrow the choir will sit. We'll, we'll put the choir in a good place. And we'll sing special number. Don't worry, I see a lot of you tomorrow singing. This is a one time in a lifetime opportunity. I don't know when I'm coming back here again. So if I see you, when I come here at 10.30, I see you and you want to sing, we'll practice together. And one of the songs will be, You shall love the Lord that make it all. And the second one will be, The song I taught them in Sydney. So we're going to have two special numbers. One is already easy. But we'll sing it in a good way. Right? Alright, stand up. Let's share the grace. Thank you, Father, for a wonderful service. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for healing. Thank you for Holy Ghost encounter. Thank you for salvation. Go with us as we go. Bring us back safely in the name of Jesus. Even those watching online, bless them in the name of Jesus. Whatever you have received here, the devil will not snatch your blessings. In the name of Jesus, I soak you in the blood of Jesus. I soak everything you receive in the blood of Jesus. I seal it in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The grace of Let's share the grace in fellowship. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I want all of you to come here. Let's take a group pic with me inside. Just come and face it. Where the camera guy? Do you have the true lens of the small lens? You stand over there. Come face, face the hall. Come on. I want you to, all of you, the children be in front of Just face the front. Everybody, whether you have the shirt or not. Come on, line up, quick, 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 quick. And then you can go get food. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. I like taking picture with you guys. Yes, and I need selfie today. I'm not going to be able to do selfie. Picture, are you ready? And more people coming to enter this picture. We'll post it on Facebook. The short people stay in the front, squat. So that your face will show you that they'll block you on what they see. Okay. Are you ready, picture guy? This was so much fun. Oh, to oh, oh, Tomorrow, we'll anoint you with oil. I hope we'll have oil on it. But that's blessing. We have oil. Some from, from Sydney, okay. and then we'll pray for your for your finances to be blessed. All right, cameraman, we're waiting for you. Please, tall woman, don't block them. If you are tall, squat down. That lady is so tall; she's blocking everybody behind her. You're blocking them; it's not fair. Come on. Now. All right, all right, everybody. Say Jesus. Jesus! 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 Oh yeah, everybody, raise up your hand. Oh, you can't see them. Can I lady, move to her? Holy Ghost and Counter! Not fine, not fine. Holy Ghost and Counter! Hey, put your hand.
it's not much. <laughs> I'm hungry. You're hungry? Okay, we'll go find some food. Enjoying the food? Yeah, thank you. Yes. Let's go find some food. <laughs> So I'll end it.